Hello my friends, how you all doing? And welcome back to the channel and welcome to a fresh episode of Project Scandinavia. This is the second of that double bubble you get every single weekend, my friends. Uh, today we're going to crack on with some more games in the league. Um, they're kind of pointless now. All will be explained when we get into it, but uh, it is first versus second, as I promised you. But last episode, my friends, is above right now. Make sure you go and check that one out if you've not yet seen it. Um, I'm sure you have though, because got a lovely little following on this series and you all seem to be absolutely loving it as well but my friends we've got two games to play lots to cover let's jump on in so the first thing I want to do is quickly cover a little bit of transfer stuff now as you know uh, last episode I said that the January transfer window would be upon us it was upon us and we lost a really big player, Conrado, left us on a free transfer. He had been excellent all season long. Um, biggest problem we had with this was he couldn't gain a work permit. So he couldn't actually sign a proper contract. He could only sign like an amateur contract. They came in, offered him £220 a week. And uh, yeah, he's gone. He was having a great season. Was absolutely loving Conrado's work. But he has left the football club. We also lost a few youngsters and also the other for one as well that I need to show you is in here and it's Oliver Lassen we decided to release him he was kicking off about first team football and uh, yeah he's just not at the level we've had to replace the keeper it's the only in in the window and we've replaced Conrado with Herman Reistad um I'm not sure. I feel like he's on a very similar level to Conrado. Um, he's a goalkeeper rather than a sweeper keeper. So we will have to see how that affects us um, and our build-up play. But I think we got a relatively good keeper. He joins us on a free transfer on an amateur contract. He's not being paid any money. And a lot of the reason for that is because the finances are still ridiculous. This club hemorrhages money. It's nothing to do with me because I've looked after the wages very, very well this season uh yeah the club just doesn't make any money basically so uh yeah it's a bit of a problem uh between last episode and this one we've been playing a load of games you will remember that last episode was a draw in the league and a loss in the cup it wasn't the best of episodes was it but uh hopefully we can brighten our weekend with a better episode this time i played on i played four games between last episode and this one we have actually secured ourselves a position in the promotion stage already so that's what i meant by these games kind of being null and void but we'll still play a couple today anyway anyway uh, in preparation for the promotion stage we uh, faced off against Holbeck we got a 2-0 win in this one you'll see that Carty and Stuckler the deadly duo with the goals Soren Jensen got sent off though uh, then we came up against uh, Vasherland and uh, we got a 4-1 victory in this one uh, Chukwani with an early goal uh, Carty with another and uh, Daniel Stuckler with a brace they did grab themselves what was a consolation in the end we then came up against Dulham and uh, uh, this was a, a mad old game and once again against Dulham we decided to go to sleep and uh, let them back into the game. We were cruising. We were 3-0 up in 34 minutes. It's the deadly duo of Stuckler and Carty with the goals again. Carty with a brace. Sorensen got sent off on the 76th minute. And they had a man sent off on the 64th minute. Uh, they grabbed themselves a couple of goals as well. So, yeah, it was action jackson that game. Um, we then had the sort of break the, 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 in, the, in the middle there. We played a bunch of friendlies just to keep the players fit. We did lose one by three goals to two. But they're a very good uh, Swedish team. Um, and then we came back and we've played our first game since returning and it was a 1-0 win it was a bit of a struggle but I kind of anticipated that was going to happen because of the break but uh, Crone with the goal lovely job from him so today we're going to be playing a nice fed and a b and hopefully we can get some positive results um we are still ladies and gents undefeated this season so uh yeah, we might have a little something on our hands here if we continue in this rich frame of form. Uh, 45 points puts us top over the two groups, but as you can see, Thysted are going very, very well. They've qualified from their group uh, as well. They were a tough opposition last year. They did beat us, I believe, in the promotion stage. So, uh, yeah, it's no surprise to see them up there. And uh, as you can see, we are head and shoulders above a lot of these teams. 
So uh, let's just hope we can continue to pick up the points in such a feisty manner uh, from here on out. But it's first versus second, as I've already said, ladies and gents. And this is the team we're going to go with. We're having to deal with a suspension. Uh, Chikwani picked up too many yellow cards, and so he can't play in today's game. But other than that, it's a relatively fit team. We're going to go with Rystad in goal, M8 and Rockdale at fullback, Stockholm Yates and centre back, uh, Paul Valdson and Bezier in the midfield, Georges and Smith Peterson on the wings, Carty Stuckler up top. Both got 16 goals each in all competitions. Jeez, what a strike partnership. And so here we go, ladies and gents. The boys walk out onto the pitch. The last time we faced these, it was a relatively easy day at the office, but we were at home. It was earlier in the season. Um, but uh, let's just see how we fare in this one. I'm hoping for just more points now, basically. I just don't want to lose a game, if, if at all possible. I'm not sure it will be possible to make it towards the end of the season, but I make a habit where my YouTube series are concerned about having invincible seasons. I think I did it with Palermo in our first season. I did it with Vannersborg. I've done it a few times. It's quite a difficult thing to achieve on Football Manager, but I don't know why, but with these small teams in the early, early years, I do seem to be able to manage it. Um, nearly half hour gone. It's all us on the attacking front, but um, no highlights. It's a little bit boring. It's a little bit tentative. You would have, you would have thought that they might have come out and give it a little bit more in this game because every point is going to be valuable. And uh, yeah, it is what it is though, ladies and gents. I'm just trying to pull out as big a gap going into the promotion stage as possible now. Um, we just need points. We're not at the best first half here. I think we might have to get a little bit shouty with the players at half time. I'm going to ask them to prove a point. We'll give it 10, 15 minutes. And then if we still haven't seen anything... We'll have a little go. But here we go. Stuckler on the ball. Now Rockdale. Now into Jensen. Ball over the top. It didn't actually look that bad, but it hasn't worked. And that should have been cut out, in my opinion, there. And he's got all the time in the world down on this wing. Has King. He's going to come inside. He's going to come back to King. And this is... Um, not good. It's not looking like very promising for us, but that's well dealt with. And that's good from Paul Valdson to stay on his feet. And can he put a ball in? He can. It's Carty. It's not gone anywhere. That's a really pointless highlight. It really was a pointless highlight. We didn't really see a shot on target there, did we? Um, I can't demand a bit more out of the team. We are dominating the fixture. Just no goals. Um... No surprise, really. The lack of creativity down that right-hand side is clearly hurting us. I am going to make a change. Smith-Peterson has not got into this one, so we're going to bring Frace on for him. Now, George is having a bad game. Henriksen, it could be time for you to play your first game this season. It is going to be time. S stuff it. Let's give you a go, lad, because those two wingers have done absolutely shaggle in the game. Right, we're going to face a corner now. Hassan with the corner. It is headed. It's over the bar. There was a little op opposition obstruction I wanted to do. They've just brought a new striker on, so we'll just mark him up. Um, and it's nil-nil with about 30 minutes to go. And uh, they're starting to crank it up, though, by the looks of things. Getting the ball a bit more Getting the ball quite deep in the midfield. We just need to keep this pressure on. Don't give them any space for a shot. Again, though, going to get that joy down this side. Not having a natural right back as hurt us, but Rystad deals with that shot very, very well. It's over the bar. Now a corner, and it's headed out. Good defending from the lads. Can we keep this out? Stuckler with a two-footer almost by the looks of things. That's about three challenges we just see Stuckler throw in there. Love to see it, but I'd like to see you up the other end, Sunshine, scoring the goals. Uh, Stuckler is actually going to be the last man to be replaced because he's not had a good game. So we're going to bring on uh, Crone for him, and it looks as though we're about to face... A no, we're not about to face a corner. Um... It's not been the best game, has it, this one? I would take a draw. It wouldn't be the worst result. Second place they are as well at the end of the day. Um, and we've just returned. This is the problem when you have this bloody break. I had it last time. We returned and it just we weren't we weren't alive and kicking the same way. 
Back then I was using a different tactic. This time it's the 4-4-2. It hasn't really worked for us. I know I didn't go attacking and stuff, but yeah, it's not it's not a great performance. I'm not really too happy with that. We've got another game though, ladies and gents, and uh, we will be back for that very shortly. Okay, my friends, so here we go. Second game of today's episode. We are still away from home, but this time it's against AB, who have actually had a bit of a struggle this season. Uh, Chukwani can't come back in. He's now on international duty, so an even bigger ball ache. But uh, we're going to give someone else a go. We're going to give them a proper, proper debut and see if they can uh, produce the goods for us. But um, this is the team we're going to go with. I know we were a bit shot shy in the last game, but I am going to stick with the strike partnership. So it's going to be Rice in goal, M. Rockdale, fullback, Stockholm Jensen, centre back, uh, Pavardson and uh, Badger in the midfield. We're going to bring Henriksen in on the right hand side, uh, Frace on the left, Carty Stuckler up top. I want to see some goals in this one. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, second game of today's episode. And it'd be nice to see us get back to our best stuff in this one. Obviously, like I say, AB have been struggling. And, um, yeah, we've been firing on all cylinders this season. That's a nice corner. That's over the bar, and that's an early, early chance, ladies and gents. And, uh, yeah, since we kind of clinched promotion, um, we, we have kind of let off a little bit. We're taking the foot off the accelerator uh, ever so slightly. It's almost like we're trying to conserve the energy for the next phase of the competition. Um, but... There's still work to be done, in my opinion. We still need to build up points. We still need to build up a goal difference. And, uh, yes, that is a lovely ball down the wing to Carty, who's going to spread the play. Paul Vardson now into Frace, who's danced through. If he scores, it would have been a goal. But that is a pretty, really pretty shit effort. Um, we're going to have a corner. Badger with it. A lovely corner. Shame no one was at the back post to get on the end. Carty now is going to find MA. And this is probably going to come to nothing. They usually do, don't they? Those corners that come after uh, a guilt edge chance. And uh, 20 minutes gone on top of the game. But it is still nil-nil. But Badger puts in another ball. And that's, uh, that's it. The woodwork. And then there was a foul committed in the box. We're getting close. We are getting closer. Definitely. With every chance, we are getting closer. Throw in now. MA into Pavardson. And that ball into the box is going to be dealt with by Fisher. And, um, yeah, come on. Just get the ball back. And uh, get up there and score a goal. That's well dealt with by the defender. Stockholm has been solid as a rock this season, hasn't he? Badger, though. He's going to find Frace. Where's he going to go with it? Into Rockholt Badger. Back to Frace. That was a nice little work there. Now, Frace, can he get a ball in? He's found the um, found the edge of the area. He does. It's Carty. It's his 17th for the season. Beautiful stuff. Lovely to see. Clubs are sniffing around Connor Carthy. Uh, Connor Carty, I should say. And uh, I'm a little bit worried, I'm going to say, because we tried to offer him a contract and he wants £900 a week. Uh, the most we can offer is about 260 70 300 ish if we were to really push it and uh yeah just i'm a bit worried really that we're going to lose that player and uh it'll be a shame because stuckler and him have really just struck up this unbelievable strike partnership and uh they just really read each other as carty and that's found its way to stuckler he's going to put away and that was actually paul Vardson. that was with the assist carty with the back heel to him and that's two nil ladies and gents and when we're playing well it really is smooth operator it really really is um here we go henriksen up the right hand side Where's he going to go with this? He's going to come inside to Badger. And that into Pavartson. Going to come back to MA. Into Badger again. Pavartson. Badger. Ball in. Carty. Oh, what a goal that would have been. It goes just wide of the post. Badger, by the way, is available for transfer. No fee. His contract's up. But he's another one. He wants too much money. So we're really going to have to wait to the end of the season and see what sort of position we're in before we can start doing this you know at the end of last season i did say that it was promotion or bust it was either promotion or we are definitely going to be leaving the football club but say we didn't get promoted and they offered me a new deal i'm actually enjoying my time here enough that i might might stay on for another season and see what happens but really with the way we're playing at the minute I really can't see anything other than potential promotion being on the cards. But that's half time. That's 2 0. Dominant first half. Let's get them out there for the second, ladies and gents. And uh, 
see if we can score some more goals. But the gap is 13 points. <laughs> nice dead uh, now. That's a beautiful ball, Carty. And there we have it. Finished. It's offside. I'm getting too cocky. <sighs> that, looked on, that looked on to me. It really did look on to me. But they've given it offside. Frace is not having a good game. So he might be a potential casualty in a moment when I start ringing the changes just to look after the players. But we'll let this play out first. That ball comes in. It's well dealt with. Headed out and then cleared. And Carty is up there and he's going to get on the end. He's got pace to burn. Is he going to score? No, he's not. But Henriksen, Carty is going to have a second bite. And Stuckler with the rebound. Lovely to see. Good, good, good. Stuckler on the score sheet. They are absolutely loving life. Right, we're going to make a change. Um, I'm going to take Frace off. And I'm going to bring Lingard on. He's a young player who's come through the academy. And he looks okay. Obviously, you have to respect this level is not you know, what we're dealing with in other saves or maybe potentially what you're doing. Um, but for this level, he, he does look quite an interesting little prospect. And the other one is I'm going to take Badger off and bring Gertsen into the midfield. He's been whinging about football and uh, I'm going to give him a little bit, but he's probably going to be gone at the end of the year. And as I make those substitutions, they go and grab a goal. Of course they do. Of course they do. Ah, just when I think we're going to be easy breezy all the way, we concede like that. This is this is the B93 problem, unfortunately. We just switch off and they've gone through again. And uh, they haven't made any changes, so nothing different is happening with the team. All my marking and stuff should really still be sufficient. Henriksen is going to find MA into Pavartsen. Beautiful one-touch passing and uh, that was nearly a phenomenal goal Stuckler with a good shot this does look like it's going to continue um, I'm hoping we're going to win the ball back and go up the other end and I don't want them to have an attack and I don't want them to score there we go that's nice Lingard with the ball and he's going to find Stuckler it's over the defender's head oh he can't score he can't score that one on one a ball in no Carty can't get on the end of it ah, the one on ones are hurting us ladies and gents is this going to continue it's still going. Are we going to fashion another chance or are we going to concede? Jensen now on the ball. A long one. Starkler gets fouled. That's a second jello. Ta-ta. Early bar for you, my friend. Get the ice ready physio. Um, but yeah, here we go. Free kick. Are we going to see a goal? Rock doll. No, we're not. Goes just wide. He's had a few chances this season to go and grab himself a goal from that position and just hasn't managed to do it. Um, I am going to make a weird little substitution. Some of you might not like it, but I'm um, going to make it anyway. Stockholm is going to make way. Just going to save his legs. He's got a lot of football to play still this season and uh, he was running on empty. So we're going to bring Henriksen on. And so we've got the two Henriksons up the right hand side now for the remainder of the fixture and um here we go we're into the last sort of five minutes we'll be added on time shortly and this is going to be another win for B93 a season of pure delights ball comes in and that goes a wide thank god for that Four minutes added on, ladies and gents. But yeah, a season of pure delights. 15, uh, 15 wins and four draws so far. Unbelievable, really, to think what we've achieved this year. We got very close last year after Helsingor fell to pieces. But this year, we've just taken matters into our own hands, haven't we? And uh, we really want this. We really want it this season. Gertsen, Rockdahl. He's going to find Henriksen. Lovely stuff. He just doesn't run his man, though, Henriksen, does he? He takes his time. Ball over the top, though, into Carty, and he can't score. It's a good save from the keeper, but it is another chance fashioned. Are we going to get a goal here, or are these just dead highlights at the end of the game? Gertsen, if he was to go wide, there's definitely a man there ready to run. There we go. Nice into Henriksen, who's going to get a ball in. It's going to drop to Carty. It's going to come back to him. Get a ball in. Get a ball in, and it's offside. See, it was just a dead highlight. We get these every now and then at the end of the game. And uh, we are going to have the full-time whistle blown. I am pretty sure of it very, very shortly. Come on. 
Blow the whistle, referee, and there we have it. A good 3-1 win for B93, ladies and gents. Get in there this season. Come on. Okay, my friends, so we're back here at the fixture screen. Uh, with that win, it's 21 games unbeaten. <laughs> Wowza, in the league. Obviously, we have lost uh, the game in the cup. Hmm, less said about that, the better. Um, but uh, <laughs> And we lost that friend as well. But uh, yeah, 20-odd games unbeaten in the league is pretty impressive. I'm going to play out the last three games of the season and then we will be back next year uh, next year jesus that's some weight isn't it for a new episode we will be back next episode which will be on wednesday for uh the start of the promotion stage once again and let's see if we can go one better uh this time around i'm laughing at myself now for saying next year but um stop it come on click on there thank you very much um yeah, here we are. I'm giggling, stop giggling, stop laughing. Anyway, here we are. You'll see that uh, nice bit of uh, qualified for the next round as well. And uh, looking at the other group, you will see that we actually have a very nice seven-point cushion on Feisted, ladies and gents. So that's looking good because obviously you carry your points over into that promotion stage. Akai is still top goal scorer. Stuckler's still second. Stuckler's top assister. They're loving the old life and the average ratings and the player of the matches. And yeah, it's just a beautiful season. And um, hmm. Lovely. I think we might go up, you know. So there you are, my friends. We are done and dusted for another episode of the Project Scandinavia save and series and absolute love fest. We're all loving it, aren't we, my friends? Uh, another episode done. Another couple of good results, I guess we could say. But it all gets interesting from next episode when the promotion stage begins. But until then, my friends, uh, if you're new, hit the subscribe button. Drop a like if you have enjoyed. Hit the bell notification button to never miss an episode. You'll find all the socials and my Discord in the description. As always, and until next time, you've been legends. And I'll see you all later.